Hi everybody. Um, we have actually been off um, for the holiday break. Um, I did go back last week and did two days. Um, that is when I did the Schnauzer and a few of the other dogs for right before New Year's. But I will be back in the shop tomorrow. Um, I have a pretty full day. But tonight, um, I, <laughs> I have my own dog, Kenji, here. Um, and <laughs> he's calling at me. He knows I'm talking about him. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you some brushing on him. Alright, so this is Kenji. Um, <laughs> he's a year old. He is a Bedlington Terrier. Stand up. And just so you can see. I brush him all the time, a few times a week. I mostly just put them on my lap and do it, but today, since I'm doing the video, I put them up on my little craft table. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, so I actually had to fix it so I can figure out how to um, set up the video. I think that works better. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is Kenji. He is the Bedlington Terrier. Um, and today I'm just going to show you about brushing him, like I said. Wait. So this is his slicker brush. The thing you need to know about Bedlington Terriers is that they have really soft hair. It's very unique and very hard to trim. So I'm going to be doing uh, this video today. He's so excited. <laughs> um, just to kind of introduce you to this. Um, I don't have a comb on me, but usually once you um, brush a dog, you'll have to go over them with a comb. Um, his head is pretty grown out right now. I would say it's a good three inches on top of his head. His legs are not grown out right now um, because around mid-November, which is roughly about six, seven weeks ago, I just went ahead and took him down because I knew the uh, with a seven and a three on the legs because I knew that um, <laughs> it was going to get crazy with the clients at uh, work and I didn't want to have to worry about him getting matted. Um, but anyway, for these dogs, I know most dogs you will um, take out this corner of the eye here and this corner of the eye when you groom them. Um, but with a Bedlington Terrier, you're not going to take out this fall here. Unless it's a pet dog, which he is. He is a pet dog. Uh, he's not a show dog. Um, so it's pretty much on... Uh, preference of the owner but you don't take this hair up, up here you're gonna leave all of this when you do the haircut and I'll show you that later on this week I'm not sure which day because I'm not sure what my schedule is I do know that tomorrow I have a lot of dogs on my schedule so I won't be taking them tomorrow but anyway we would shave all of this down here all of this here the ears and leave the little tassels um, usually a Bedlington will get a pattern and a little bit of an underline going on down here. 
I don't do that with him. I just do this body from the, the bone of his skull, his occiput, all the way down to his tail. I take off the tip of the tail here, well, the base of the tail here, and then I shave all of this because they're supposed to have a little rat tail going on. And then I'll leave his legs longer. Sometimes I'll shave his feet, paint his nails, make him a little girly dog. <laughs> but um, yeah, his hair right now, I would say is about, just a, maybe about an inch, if that. Might be a little less than an inch. But I take all of this down on a five, so I don't really brush this up here too much or worry about it too much. I just brush over him. So Kenji is 13 months old now. Um, with the head, you're going to want to part it and then brush. And a line what's called line brushing and once you part it'll get down to that skin and then just keep going up and then as the hair separates it'll lay down here and then you just go into the next session section section <laughs> until his entire head is since I brush him all the time, it's not going to take that long. Um, you brush him between the eyes. He does from the corner of his eye down here to the corner of his mouth. His hair is still there. Um, I do cut it a little bit shorter around the, the muzzle and nostril here. Just to make sure that his hair stays out of the water and food and he doesn't get gross but yeah pretty easy when you brush them um all the time because you don't have all these mats and then he'll brush the, the little tassels his little tassels need to grow because a few months ago i did shave his ears completely and i only did that because I was experimenting with his look, trying to figure out what I liked. I do like the overall Bellington look. I love the head. So I keep his head done in a traditional Bellington Terrier cut. Anyway, that is his head um, you can see his legs are pretty much brushed out I did those earlier today so I'm not even going to do them right now um, this dog you want to keep his nails trimmed they need to be trimmed which I'll do that later on when I groom him but you can see like a little close-up of his tail and you can tell a little bit where we stop cutting it's around here around the base of the tail i always shave all that off because it gets discolored and yucky back there bedlington terriers do have hair in the ears in the ear canal um so i look in there all the time and clean it out maybe about once a week just to pull out all the, the hair that's inside the ear. And I just did it a couple days ago so he doesn't have any in there. But you can see how clean his ear is. That's how you want your dog's ears to look all the time. But anyway, that's Kenji. All done. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow with more dogs.